Hi there everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to see if I can use this iPhone 4S without a battery installed. I remember when this iPhone 4S had an expanding battery and there was pretty much nothing I could do with the phone because of how expanded the battery was and I was worried that if I plug it in it will explode or something. But now I have managed to take the battery out. And let's see if we can use this device without a battery. So I'm about to plug in this guy. And I remember when I did this on my Android devices, like three of them, three of my Android devices. And basically the HTC phone, that one just had a blinking light and nothing on the screen. Uh, there was also an LG phone that I had. That LG phone just showed up with the LG logo, and it was on a boot loop. But I also tried this on the Galaxy S5, and basically just nothing happened at all. I didn't see a light, I didn't see anything on the screen, just nothing happened. But let's just move on with the video for now. So now it's time we plug it in. My cable is a little too short. Let me just try this again. And let me just try to put this in. And let's see what will happen. Oh, there's the Apple logo. And I guess it will boot into recovery mode. Oh, and I guess it's just doing the same thing that the LG phone did. It's just on a boot loop. It just shows the Apple logo. And it just tries to boot through... And it just, it just gets stuck. So here we are with the Apple logo. So hopefully it will do something. And hopefully something will change pretty soon. But for now, I'm just going to pause the video. And I'll resume it once it boots up. And as you can see, the phone has finally booted up. And... This is pretty strange. It thinks it's at 100% even though there's no battery installed. Because I've done this on a Windows computer one day. And instead of showing that the battery is at 100%, it just showed like an X, like a cross next to the battery. Saying that it was low and it needs to charge. But it just said no battery is detected. So it says hello in different languages. Let's just swipe left to see what we can do. And it asks for our language. So let me choose my language. And let me now choose my country from the list. And of course, I live in the US. So I'm going to choose that. And instead of asking for my Wi-Fi network, I think it has trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi network. But... It just says to connect the phone to iTunes, and that's it. Yeah, that's all it does. But can you make an emergency call? Let's see. So let's just try typing in. It doesn't even make noises when you tap on the numbers, because usually it makes some beep noise, like beep, 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 beep. But it does not do that over here. It's just silent. And also, can I change the volume over here? Yeah, it does let you change the volume. Let me just use the maximum volume. Still not doing anything over here. But I've also noticed something else when the video was paused. Because if I mute the phone, it's supposed to make a vibration, but... It doesn't even make a vibration over here. It just says it's silent and it doesn't even play vibrations. But it's just super annoying that the phone just says connect to iTunes and that's it. Oh! What just happened? I just saw a few things over there. I just saw some lines on the screen and... Now the phone is rebooting. So I guess that's all it's doing. So it does show up to a setup screen. And it asks for my language and my country. 
But instead of asking to connect to a Wi-Fi network, it just says to connect it to iTunes. Although this thing is indeed a Wi-Fi phone, and of course, and of course, it can like detect my Wi-Fi network and all of that. But unfortunately, the sound on this phone doesn't work without a battery, and you can't make emergency calls. Something else I've noticed is when I try to call nine one one. It actually makes, it doesn't even actually make phone calls. It just, it just says the call has failed. Let me show you that once the phone has booted up. So it's booted up over here. Let me just swipe left, press the power button, and choose emergency call. And if I dial 911 and press the dial, it just says call failed. And it does not call 911. But enough about that. That's all we can do with this phone. There's not really anything else we can do. But something else I've noticed, you've probably seen this information button on the setup screen. And apparently if you tap on it, it just shows the information of your phone. And I'm going to cover this because it'll show my serial number. Never mind, it doesn't actually show my serial number. But it just says regulatory. It's unable to determine that. Not even when we dial star hash zero six hash on this thing. So if I go emergency call star hash zero six hash dial, it doesn't even do anything. I've tried this before on an iPhone 5S and it actually worked. You might have seen that iPhone 5S in a previous video. But I'm going to cover the regulatory page, but if I tap on regulatory, it just shows all the regulatory stuff, which basically nobody cares about. But I guess that's going to do it with this iPhone 4. I'm going to slide the power off over here and take it out. But as always, we will conclude this video for now, now that we have tried to use this iPhone 4 without a battery. Or it's like a 4S, not a 4, because you can see through the antennas. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more similar videos. And also, don't forget to share this video if you found anything interesting or something a bit funny. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.